How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 7 in my programming Leap Motion with Python series. Last video we uh, finished up uh, getting data from hand by uh, getting data from each finger of each hand. So we are completely done with this for loop now so I'm going to use tripl uh, triple quotes to comment it out because we don't want PowerShell to get a ton of text and not be able to read it. And now we are going to move on to something different, which is tools. So with uh, uh, the tool, um, it's you can use a pen, say, you can use a pencil, you can use a chopstick, which is supposedly the uh, uh, best thing that Leap Motion picks up on is the chopstick for the tool. And uh, this is just some of the data you can get from it. So for each tool, um, we want to print out data. We're going to do that by using a for loop. For tool in frame dot tools and colon. Inside here, we are all we're going to do is print out data. You can save the data if you wanted to to a variable, but I'm just printing it out to give you guys a visual representation. And so print. Oops, forgot to put print. Print. First thing we're going to print out is the ID for the tool. So each tool, as long as it's held over the motion sensor, will have an ID which will stay the same until you take it away from the motion sensor. When you bring it back the next time, it'll have a different ID. But as long as it's held over, it'll keep the same ID. So for this, we are going to reference tool.id, which returns an integer, and we're going to typecast that to a string for our print call. Next, we are going to go over the tip position, which is the position of the tool closest to the uh, computer screen. So, tip position, and we'll get that by referencing the string representation of tool.tip underscore position okay and just to give you guys a reminder I've mentioned this in past tutorials but this is if this is the first tutorial of mine you've seen uh, gotta get back to it um, okay right here so you'll see Z is for depth X left to right Y is for height. Y is always positive except for when it's right on the uh, motion sensor screen which will then be zero. Z is positive towards you if you have the green light facing yourself like me and then it's negative towards the screen. It's positive, uh, the x axis is positive to the right of the center and then negative from the left of the center. And this is not like calculus. In calculus, this would be the y-axis, this would be the x, and this would be the z. So just realize it's not at all like what you'd learn in school. Now, we got the tip position. Next and final piece of data is the direction of the tool. So print out direction, which is going to return a vector, which uh, stands for... Uh, well, the direction the tool is pointing towards your screen. So we'll get that by converting to a string the tool dot direction variable. All right. Hopefully, I got no errors. Save it. Open up PowerShell. I'm already navigated to the folder where this is saved. So I'm going to launch it. Now, just give me a second to pause this video and go grab a pen. Alright, I have a pen in my Java series with Bleep Motion. It took a while to pick up on it. Okay, well, it's picking up a lot faster here. So it has the same ID. Let me move it towards the screen a bit more. You can see the Z axis getting a lot deeper, so a lot more negative. If I bring it away from the screen, you can see the Z axis get more positive. I'll move it to the right move it to the left and you can see all the uh, vectors or positions here changing accordingly. So I'm going to remove the pen and you'll notice how the ID changed. If I bring it back 
And if it picks up on it, come on, there we go. Now it has the ID of 16, take it away, bring it back. Come on now. Well, it did change anyway. You saw it change once. I was going to try to do it twice for you, but the motion sensor doesn't want to cooperate. Uh, enter to exit. And that is all I want to talk to you guys about tool data. You're not limited to that. There's definitely a lot more than three things you can get from a tool. So if I go here, uh, tool leap motion. And if I switch it to the Python library, it'll go over all the different um, all the different things you can do with tools. So thank you guys for watching. Please leave a comment on the video, give the video a like, and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate all the support, and I will see you next time.